Hey guys, Matt with Brentwood Sports and Collectibles, back with another pack basketball pack rip. This is 1994-95. Um, big key rookies are uh, Jason Kidd, who I personally collect. One of my big PCs is him, Grant Hill. Um, whole bunch of Jordan inserts possible. Um, so let's see what we can get into. This is Flair Basketball 94-95 Series One. So it's got a chance of, um, this was in the first year's Flair did hot packs, which are basically a full pack of inserts at the time. Um, so that was a pretty innovative idea that Flair did first. So, 94, 95 Flair. It's a little sticky, but basic, keeping with the Flair tradition, basic little foil on the name. Um... And if you notice, the backs are completely black bordered, so very, very hard to find, get any of these graded and receive, you know, nines or tens just based on the sensitiveness of the black trim. So, Elvin Campbell, Anthony Peeler, Scott Brooks, Chris Gatling. Alfonso Ellis, it's his second year. There's David Robinson, nice looking card of the Admiral, Brian Stith. There's a later card of Patrick Ewing. Good old Spud Webb. And the All Star cards kind of got a little texture like a basketball. Um, BJ Armstrong. So, moving along, let's look at the Skybox. Uh, Skybox throughout the years were known for their graphics in the background. Um, kind of a little different than everybody else. The computer generated graphics. I think this. They had their scratch off. So this year's Skybox, if you notice, the, I think the basketball was the only thing that had a little graphics behind it or just to emphasize it. That's Reggie Miller. That's a car. So Mitch Richmond. And then you've got dynamic duels, Lindsey Hunter, Kenny Anderson. So stuck together. I got Derek Harper. Todd Day again. Chris Mullen, so Mitch Richmond and Chris Mullen just need Tim Hardaway to make one TMC, but that was a couple years before that. Calvert Chaney, Doug Edwards, there's a nice John Stockton, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Cedric Sabalos. So not too bad, a couple Hall of Famers in there. Um, let's go on to the top series one. Tops was interesting this year. Um, they actually had the rookies in the Series 1, so you could get a Grant Hill or Jason Kidd out of the Series 1. Pretty much the more of a draft pick, kind of like how you would see the LeBron rookie and some of these other guys in their actual suits on draft night. I think this was the first year that Tops did that, so Series 1 actually had possible rookies on draft night. So, let's see. These will definitely stick together. There's Todd Day again. Derek Coleman. John Sally. There's an Anthony, second year. Anthony Hardaway. Chris Mills. Oh, Lindsey Hunter. <laughs> and now comes Chris Weber. So, Weber and Anthony just a year late. <laughs> So these are all their second years. There's the, they call it a Spectralite card. You got one of those per pack. They also did that with Topps Baseball. Uh, Harold Miner was known for his whole, considered, people call him Baby Jordan as far as slam dunk contest, but as far as his overall game. Was okay at USC, but when he came up to play, he didn't really do too much with Miami. Bobby Hurley. Chief Thief, Eric Murdoch, Grant Long, Sam Cassell. Okay, let's 
let's head to the series two pack. Super sophomore finest cards. Um, Spectra inserts. So, Keith Jennings. Olden Polonies. Vincent Askew. Ken Norman. There's a cool looking Larry Johnson. Vern Fleming. There's a Patrick Ewing. David Robinson. Frank Rakowski. Looks like a few rookies here towards the end. There's Eric Montross, Carolina grad. Michael Adams. And Tim Bro. So let's head on to the hoops. And what the hoops had was a lottery exchange where if you got the draft card, you can you mailed away for the draft set. So you would get that in the mail. Um, hoops was one of the first ones to do that. They started in 92, 93 with the Shaq rookie. Let's see what we got here. So, there's something you don't see every day. Denzel Washington card, Boys and Girls Club. So, Jeff Malone, followed by Carl Malone. And Hoops and Skybox, and I'm still do the coaches' cards. Mike Fratello, Sam Cassell, Scott Skiles. And there's a nice Tim Hardaway. So, there's my run TMC across the years. Um, there's Tim Hardaway with the anniversary sticker. Gary Payton, uh, another player I think is very underrated, um, was incredibly quick, one of the biggest trash talkers of all time, but once again, like another player I collect, Deion Sanders, they always would back it up. They would talk the trash the whole game, but they would always come through and perform. That's what I liked about Gary Payton. So, let's go to the Hoops Series 2. There's one of the rare cards you would see Dominique Wilkins in an actual Celtics uniform because he did play for a short time. Um, they did the team logo cards, which are pretty cool, um, and they're not too glossy. So if ever something they're great for signatures, um, gold mines, those are randomly packed in the packs. So uh, here's another rookie of a uh, decent player that came out of, uh, can't remember where he came out of, but as far as for the Lakers, he did really well. Um, underrated Temple, that's where he came out of. Eddie Jones. And there's Wayman Tisdale. And there's a cool looking Sixers team card, so. Other inserts, Hoops Power. Gary Payton's got a little bit of shine on it. Darren Ann Hancock, rookie. Cool looking Pistons team card. Scott Skiles. Jamie Watson. And a cool looking Orlando Magic. So it's three or four team cards in there. Interesting. Now it's a little bit better stuff in those years. This is the Upper Deck 3D. Um, these actually, the cards were. I want to say 3D foil pack samples to randomly sent cards, numbers 1 through 110. I think that they actually had these red and blue glasses you can actually view these because it kind of gave you that 3d effect but another yep every pack had these so just so you see they've got stuck together but anyway whereas there's chris weber pretty innovative idea by upper deck you know, at the time, all these companies were battling it out to see who would have the coolest looking inserts. Xavier McDaniel, um, and Scott Skiles, and Purvis Ellison. So, something different there. Also, Upper Deck had a lower end called Collector's Choice. It was the first year, 94-95. Um... Uh, the Collector's Choice by Upper Deck had randomly packed gold facsimile signatures. 
they were one per box um, and of course all the Jordans still go for good money Tree Rollins towards the end of his career so Vladdy Divots Harold Ellis Danny Shays Vern Fleming let me speed it up a little so this video is not too long I've got a couple a few more packs Eric Piekowski there's my boy Jason Kidd Blueprint Stacy Ogman, Plastic Man, had a great career with the Hawks out of UNLV. Okay, let's go on to the Upper Deck SP. This is Upper Deck first basketball SP product. Um, and just like the baseball and the football, they have the hollow views um, as well as the die cut hollow views, which still hold great value. Um, just incredible shine on the cards. Willie Burton. There's a nice Gary Payton, Derek McKee, Clyde Drexler towards the end of his career with Houston, Trell Sprewell. There's another Dominique Wilkins, Celtics. And they had their prospects just like the football and baseball with the foil. So, of course, the grading on the Grant Hill and Kid. So, here's a one regular die cut per pack, Sean Elliott. Um, but the boxes still remain pretty cheap on that SP product because Grant Hill didn't really pan out for too long. So here's the big ones. Tops Finest Series 1 and Series 2. This is the second year of Finest Basketball. Um, there's a Jordan Possible in Series 2 wearing Jersey 45. Um, that was put in towards the end. So these are probably going to stick, but something that oh look at that so you got the regular Shaquille O'Neal base card Ronnie Cycli great player Syracuse didn't really do much and one of my personal favorites Anthony Mason did what it took to get stuff done New York Kevin Johnson and there's a Mashburn Finest City Legends which is cool and John Concac, John Contract, we call him in Atlanta because he got paid all that money and never panned out. And then you got your base, Sean Kemp. So, not too bad as far as stars pack. Series 2 has possible Jordan, Grant Hill, or Kid. So, let's see if we can grab one of those or maybe a refractor. Even some of the refractors still hold good value. Even the commons just because the, the packs are not to be found. So, there's a collegiate Chris Weber. Collegiate Best, Patrick Ewing, Clifford Robinson, Avery Johnson, Chuck Person, Rifleman, Charles Smith, Clarence Weatherspoon. So that ends the 94-95 pack break. So feel free to like, subscribe, comment below. Um, and let me know. Hopefully I'll get some Jordans here coming up in my next coming years. So stay tuned for those. Appreciate you watching.